Okay, I'm, my name is Brandon, and I'm going to change the oil on the Arian's Possession V-Twin, V2. It has a V-Twin Briggs and Stratton, Stratton motor. Okay, so at first you usually always have to warm it up, but I've already been mowing the grass, so it's all warmed up. Okay, so first you need an oil filter, then you need an oil filter wrench, and you need a hose, then you need two jugs, two little jugs of oil. Okay, and then we'll set everything down here for a minute so that we can open the hood. Okay, first we have to um, get the so get the duster so and then so that we can dust off the motor. So that we can dust off the motor. Okay, and then we're just gonna Open this little cap and then put the hose on. Get an empty jug. Stick the hose in there and then I'll loosen this little. Then check if it's draining. Okay, when you at least get the the hose on the thing, and then when you get an oil jug that holds at least two quarts, pull the yellow thing out a little, and then the oil will start draining. Draining. You might want to check the air filter to see if you need a new air filter. So unscrew these. So when you take that off, wipe all the dirt off that's around it. And then take it out and then check if it's dirty. Okay. Looks like this one's dirty. We need a new one on this. Okay. So when you get the new oil or um, air filter, put it in. Clean off the top of this with the with the paper towel. Wiped off, put it back on, and then screw these back up. This little filter wrench, and then unloosen it, and then unscrew it with your fingers. Get the paper towel. Okay. Okay. Now make sure you get something to clean up all to put under the oil to clean it all up. I forgot to, so I made all of that big mess out of it. Okay. As soon as you get the oil open, pour a little bit of it on here and then smear it around the gasket. And then spin it. And then spin, in, spin it on without using the wrench and get it as tight as you can by hand. Go. 
after you get it tight, wipe off the little oil that got spilled. I think you can stop it now. So as soon as you, you're done doing that, slowly take the hose out to see if the oil is done draining. Wipe off all the oil. Mm -hmm. All right. Can't sit down like this. I'm not flexible. And then, and then, turn this. Take it out. And then put the funnel in. And then get a jug of oil. And then you pour the two quarts of oil in. in it and then put about half of the other one. Okay, so then you put the dipstick in, turn it, and then you pull it back out. Oh, it's on the bottom mark. That means we need to put a little bit of oil in there. Okay, what do I do? It's a lot. Whoa, look at the color. Put the dipstick back in, screw it, and then check how much there is. Past the top mark, kind of. Okay, fun. so it should be a little bit past the full mark. Since there's no oil in the filter. Basically, and then you turn. Let the hood down. Then you turn it back on. For a minute, just pull out a minute or two. Just about at the same spot to pull it out, wipe it off, and then put it back in, and then see how much is in it. It's at the full mark. Okay, and then you put it back in, and then close the hood. And then clean up your mess. When you're done, you have to start it back up and check if there's no, any more leaks. And if it's okay, then it's ready to mow the grass again.